Hi everyone, this is your beloved TA creating an, yet another video for you guys. Um, very happy with the results. I'm seeing a lot of good grades out there, meaning uh, a lot of people doing great on their assignments. I wonder why. <laughs> um, but also today, well, before I start creating the video, I just got to um, important important announcement. Today is the 21st uh, of September, meaning we only have one week left before the midterm one for AutoCAD, uh, for my AutoCAD people. Now what this entails is that we only have this weekend to prepare for it and uh, as I've been telling everyone I only have I have only two students so far doing the year that will be going to do, they're not doing it yet, they're going to do the tutoring sessions and uh, for that I would like to um, offer this to you guys, okay? So this is huge, okay? This is, you know, like being absolutely prepared for uh, for the midterm and making sure that you are one step of the one step ahead of making sure that you get a good grade on it. So um, again, contact me, see me, okay? Don't delay because I only have I can only uh, assist forty five students at a time, and this weekend is the only one that we're gonna have available. Again, this weekend this is the only time I wanna have available to do the private tutoring sessions. Um, I'm not gonna. I might remind you all again on the lab tomorrow. So if you have questions about it, come and see me because I uh, also we cannot do it in school facilities because it is. Uh, um, I don't. I don't want to you know be liable for any computer work or any computer uh, lab that I'm not gonna be on the clock per se to do this. Okay, so see me, talk to me, find out more about it, more about it, so that we can. Um, be ready and, and, and be less stress free, okay? Okay, now, well, today, all, all I wanted to do today was just basically show you what an assignment number four entails, and that is just simply uh, lettering. Now, the two aspects for grading on lettering will be oh, and by the way, on that weekend, if you have a discrepancy on one of your assignments, you have to we can use that time. To discuss the assignments as well, okay. Um, but then again, don't wait. So Wednesday, first thing, or even before Wednesday, uh, come and see me, okay. I will be giving my phone number sometime um, during the middle of the week, maybe on Wednesday, so that if you find yourself like you, you know, you're going to do these private tutoring sessions that I'm offering, then uh, you can contact me and set up an arrangement for it, okay. Uh, okay, well, let's get started. We're just gonna. I'm gonna show you what uh, summit number four pretty much entails, and that again is just lettering. Now, um, if I can find it. Okay, here we go. That's uh, that's not what I want. That was something else. Okay, here we hold. Okay, so here, all you, all I'm gonna be looking for pretty much is that you have. Uh, two types of different set box. Okay, this set box, this right here, it has to be, of course, single text, single line of text. That one has to lead up or select pretty much all of the all of the uh, <clears throat> all of the paragraph. But then number point number three has to be single lines. Okay, and I, I made a mistake of my own here. This is supposed to be a ten oblique angle, and not a. Uh, or, um, angle at a project angle. So what I've done, what I've done wrong there was, um, you see that rotation angle that's supposed to be zero degrees, and that oblique angle, however, has to, uh, supposed to be ten degrees. Okay, it is the oblique angle, and those are the only two things I'm gonna be looking on this, on this part of the assignment. Okay, that is it. There is nothing else I had to worry about. Nothing else that you need to construct. That's it. Okay. So very simple, very straightforward. Now let me give you just a quick peek look at assignment number five. Number number five has two components: it has this component and this other component. All right. So let me just give you a five right now, and so we can show you. And again, it is a, this box, okay? And what's so special about this box is that each and every one of those lines are array lanes, okay? Array, array. <laughs> array you're using the array command okay notice every time I place my cursor around it each and every one of those lines lit up by its own do you see that I hope you can so 
there you go you see each and every one of those and then you can you achieve that by using the array command so just on top of this assignment let me just show you what I mean by that if I say line I create a line from here to the here I have a line there right so then I invoke array and I'm gonna do a rectangular array of a single row no actually of 20 rows and one column. Well, actually, let me change that again to one row and 20 columns. Okay. Notice that on my on this right side of the uh, of the screen, it will give you what a preview of what it's supposed to look like. So after I created the rectangular part, I tell it to do one row and 20 20 columns. I'm gonna select the object that I need to array which in this case is that blue little line and then I'm gonna set up the column offset, not the row offset, the column offset. Now I can either give her a value of one or I can manually pick a point. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it to array from the beginning part of that pass a little bit extra. You see that I hope that you can see that yellow line plus the white line. The white line is gonna be the spacing and once I'm done that I'm going to tell I preview. And there we have it. You see how easy that was? I hope I hope you can actually see it. Now you're going to do that for each and every one of those items including this right here. That and that little ball and which is basically the array command. You're going to um, copy some of these items. Create a copy of them and then uh, array it. I'll create a separate video if necessary and if people need it. Okay, But all again, all I want to see on this every time that I pass on the cursor over it all I want to see is that your each and every one of those lines are created by the array command okay uh, let me give you a quick preview for 5b 5b is pretty much just this you have to construct this complex geometry which will come in handy when you're coming out with your um, your assignments okay uh, with your for your midterm but for that, you know, we can go over it in the in the in the touring session. You're gonna have to create this um, butterfly plate and then this um, angle plate, okay? And this is just very easy to create. It's just messy, you know. Uh, but it should be a, it should be a no-brainer. I'll just create one and put it out there really quickly. All right. All right, guys. This is all I wanted to show you today. It was very simple. Well, well you know, assignment number five. It takes just a bit of the time, but nothing really else that will basically matter I mean it's very straightforward in terms of the assign design component I'll come back to you and let you know maybe a little something in it but again the main thing for today was to let you know that um, one I'm very happy with the outcome of the assignments I've seen a lot of people getting good grades and two uh, this is the weekend that we have for preparing you all for that midterm now I can do a one exclusive review in the classroom. One because we will not have time, and second, it is in the same as having a one-in-one -one session, um, and it's just better for you and for me for time constraints. Okay, this weekend we have grading to do. On 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 Friday, I think the other TA has uh, uh, two classes coming in, and um, you know you have a time constraint. I don't I don't think that you know three hours is enough. But then again. I'm not the one designing the whole hour thing classroom. But again, you guys, um, let me know. Come and see me as soon as possible. Don't delay. See me on Wednesday for those of you on my lab, the ones that I'm in charge of. And uh, I hope to have a good number um, so that, you know, I get to extend a lot of people this semester. All right. Anyways, guys, so take, take care. <laughs> Stay positive. Think positive. You'll see the outcome. This is Ed. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.